my name is Agatha and this is your monthly tarot forecast. This is a very channel reading. If you'd like a private consultation with me, tarot or astrology consultation, please go to my services page, the link is below, and see my rates. Then if you'd like to work with me, just send an email to tuniazada.gmail.com. Also, you can uh, support me through my Patreon page, the link is also below. Before going to the reading, I'd like to tell you that I have a newsletter. And if you subscribe to my YouTube ch channel and if you subscribe to my newsletter, you can win my monthly free tarot reading. The link is www.tinyletter.com dash duniazad. The link is also below. All my readings are written by me. There are no software readings. So this month is going to be a, bit, a little bit different. You are going to choose between option A or option B. And I'll be using uh, the decks, the Mini Rider Weight, the Connolly, Mini Connolly Tarot deck, and also be using for your personal angelical message, the Karma Angels Tarot. Uh, so it's going to be seven cards uh, for option A and seven cards for option B. This way it's more personal to you. Also, you can have, you can choose to have a question in your mind. Imagine. Uh, how is it? How will my work life be this month? So you'll, you'll pick, for instance, option B. Or how will my love life will be this this month? You can you can uh, pick option A. So uh, you can just pick uh, for a general reading option A or option B. Or you can have also uh, whatever type of question in your in your mind and pick uh, one option or the other option. Okay, and that's it. Let's go on to your reading, okay? Hello, Scorpio. This is your tarot reading for March 2016. You have to pick between option A or option B. Have you picked? Option A or option B. Do you like my scarf? <laughs> I made it myself like years and years and years ago. So I'm going to read this as the beginning, the middle and the end of the month. Scorpio. So if you picked option A, the cards that came out for you were the Four of Cups and the Page of Wands. So first this one, the Four of Cups and then the Page of Wands. To me there's like a stillness, uh, you're not doing much of anything and there, there's a message. Message that comes, com comes to you, any type of message uh, that kind of takes you out from this stillness, this, you know, relaxation, or you're not doing anything, maybe like waiting for a job, waiting for news about the job, and there's, or not necessarily, and then there's this message that, come, that, that comes your way. It has, it might, it might be all sorts of messages of all, uh, you know, it might be connected to a job or not necessarily. It's not the, the pentacle, so I would not say it's anything to do with the job. Or that you, like, beginning of the month, Scorpio, if you picked option A, you like relaxing and pondering and thinking about something because you want to start something new. You want to start um, a, pro a project. And then, and then with between the, the first and the, the, the first 10 days of March, you've considered everything, every possibility, and you decide to start this new uh, project and it's a project out of passion. It could be even something simple like a YouTube channel and you really like a certain type of subject, you know, gaming or cars or whatever and you start this this new thing which is merely to me uh, out of passion or it could be like even an offering because he's still, can you see the guy is like still is waiting for something, there's an offer, offer here, there's an offer and the, me the message might be an offering of some kind. And in the middle of the month, Scorpio, uh, the middle of the month, more or less between the, the 10th and the, the 11th and the 20th of March, you have, you have the Tower card, the first card, and then following you have the Knight of Swords. So I have to warn you about the middle of the month, from, from the 11th to the 20th of March. Don't drive too fast. Don't drive too fast. Don't drive too fast. Don't drive too fast. And am I making myself clear? I really hope so, because don't drive fast. 
if you have a new car or even if it's uh, a car an ordinary car if you have like a bike and you're really excited for this new bike don't drive too fast because I'm not saying it's gonna happen okay something might happen if you drive too fast that will completely transform your life it might crumble the way you live it might give you a brand new life something that you really didn't want to I I'm gonna give some examples okay these two cards can be read into it in very many different ways so I'm gonna read them in many different ways don't freak out okay don't freak out so if you drive too fast it might mean that you have an accident that will transform your life do you understand this not in a very positive way or you will not see it in a positive way so don't drive fast if you drive fast it might mean that you have an accident you're okay but the other person is kind of dead not dead but serious seriously injured and that will transform your life okay so think prison think all sorts of that those delightful non delightful things okay Okay, just, just a minute, I'll be... Hello Scorpio, hello again, sorry for that. So, continuing, the Knight of Swords and the Tower card. So, it could be that, it could be something to do with an accident. Okay, so be careful, be very careful. Or it could be something that has nothing to do with you, nothing to do with your actions. Like some crazy dude can be like doing something stupid and this person might be up to the age of 30 uh, from a, um, a air sign um, could be a guy could be a woman you know because uh, an air sign Gemini Aquarius or a Libra a young person and kind of stupid kind of selfish and this person can can do a, a stupid thing and that it's this person actions these this person's actions that will transform your life so be careful out there in the road it, it might have nothing to do with you it might be the actions of some some person you might even be the one uh, you might go uh, uh, to a place I don't know to some somewhere and you take the a ride with a friend and this is the friend that messes up and it's not you so uh, if this friend drinks too much and then drives in a very weird way, don't get in the car with him. Don't do that. Don't do that. Call a cab. Fuck this person. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to, do this, to say this. Um, the other way of interpreting these two cards together, it has nothing to do with an accident. It has nothing to do with that. It has nothing to do with driving. Drunk drunk driving driving doesn't I mean doesn't it has nothing to do with speed has nothing to do with cars or you know um, bikes or whatever L let's say that you or someone you know Gemini Libra or Aquarius or you might be a, a Sun Scorpio and might and have like a Libra moon this could represent you or this could represent someone you know might blur out something you know might tell you something and might do it in in the middle of a conflict and maybe you're having a fight with this person and he or she um, could be I, I'm, I'm reading this more as a he but it could be a she just says something that you had no idea like blurs out some sort of secret some some something hit that you had no idea and that thing that he or she said it kind of will cause you like to like this inner revelation and can cause you like inner tor turmoil or it can even cause the complete transformation of your life i'm going to give several examples but imagine no this could be a person that does this to you or it could be you scorpio who cannot keep your mouth shut i love you scorpio you are awesome I love your sign. You're my favorite sign ever. And Scorpios have an act to keep quiet. They, 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 they are very private and they keep, can keep secrets quiet. Okay? But imagine like you have like 
I don't know, Scorpio rising and everything in, in, in air. <laughs> so it will be a bit different. Um, imagine that your Scorpio is not very strong and you have like a stallion in, uh, in, uh, in Gemini. And you just say something. Uh, so sometimes it might, it might not even be in the middle of a conflict. It might be just, you know, talking and you're just speaking without thinking. Could be that and it just, just you wore out the secret. And this secret might transform someone's life, but at the same time might transform yours. Imagine that, how can I say this? There, that there was some court case, for instance, and um, within your family, and it was uh, settled. And the terms of that settlement is that no one can know. For instance, imagine that your parents got money out of this settlement. I think this actually happened. I saw it in Facebook like years ago, two, or one year. A while back, I saw it, I saw a news similar to this, uh, and your parents got I don't know like a hundred thousand dollars or euros or pounds or whatever, and you just wrote it out and just you, you write it on a Facebook post, you write it on your blog, just without thinking. Oh, my parents got a hundred thousand, so and so for this or for that, and then that money which for instance, might have been used to save the house where you all lived, uh, is taken away because they have, because the, the terms of that uh, settlement were breached. And now you have no place to live. Do you understand? So whatever you know, and this could be related to the message that comes to you in the beginning of the month, some sort of message. It could even like be someone gossiping. And there's something and you blur it out and whatever you blur it out it will transform your life or there's some sort of company secret for instance you work for a company and you uh, talk about some new project and then that new project uh, doesn't come through because you talked about it and then you get fired okay so be careful with what you say with what you speak it could be in a very innocent naive sort of way and you're just talking and you're kind of excited it could be excited for a new project you know, it could be that oh my god the new iphone i work with them you have no idea it could be that or it could be some sort of um, fight in the middle of a fight you don't know you don't measure your words and you say something that you were keeping a secret or you know you're keeping quiet like for instance you're having like a fight with, I don't know, a friend or a relative and you say, oh yeah, 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 your husband has a totally other family in, in, in Alaska and you have no idea about it and, and, and just kind of destroy the other person's life with this knowledge, but it will come back to you. So in some way, so be careful and how, about how you drive or be careful how, about how others drive be careful with what you say, but at the same time, this could be something someone might be behaving in this way with you. It might be nothing to do with you. It might be someone from Libra, Gemini or Aquarius sign up to the age of 30. It could be someone even older, but very immature that might say something that will, you know, kind of cause you extreme pain and change your life in the outs inside but also in the outside world uh, might you know he or she might tell you like about something about your husband or your spouse or your wife or something else and 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 then something ends because of this new information and then at the end of the month Scorpio for those of you who picked option a you have the moon and the eight of cups I think that maybe in the middle of the month, your life got transformed and the end of the month you're kind of picking up the pieces and you like asking yourself what is the most important thing that I must focus on from now on so you you the you should not listen to your fears but you should listen to your intuition whatever your intuition tells you and this might 
take a while to focus on just follow that there's something you're leaving behind because something happens in the middle of the month and at the end of the month you make a decision of leaving your old life behind but and to focus just one one thing listen to your intuition what your gut instinct tells you to do and understand that whatever you focus on will uh, require that you surpass an obstacle a very ob large obstacle because if you see it this person is holding a cup but he has to like uh, move not move um, he has to go to this castle I don't know if you can see it there's a castle on top of that mountain he has to climb that mountain to go to that castle with that cup whatever you focus on it will requi require you effort and it will require surpassing a difficult obstacle but don't focus on the wrong, wrong thing don't focus on something just because you're afraid but use your intuition to, s to see exactly in in what you should focus on in from now on and uh, what new life you should have from now on uh, the angel message that came out for you is given to you by Metatron. Metatron is appearing a lot in these readings. I don't know why. Uh, I think the last the, the last time that I used these cards, there was another angel that kept appearing. Melayal, I think. I'm, I'm not quite sure. Kept appearing. This, this time it's Metatron. Hello, Metatron. Number nine, and he's playing the harp. So what does the little book say about Metatron? What is the message, Scorpio, if you picked option A, that he has for you? Trials and tribulations. Kind of fits the reading. Uh, the challenge is taking a leap into the unknown. Yes, yes. Especially with this last card, the Eight of Cups. And the lesson is, angels will bear us up when we have faith. Have faith in yourself have faith in this new life. The name of this angel, Metatron, is well known to many who study the angelical realm. realm. He is called the youth in the Zohar and is often associated with stories of ascension and transformation. In the reading, the card brings the challenges of making a change in your life and assurance that these changes are eventually rewarded. So, this change might happen and it might be extremely difficult but this change will be eventually rewarded okay so don't be afraid and if you have like uh, any type of fears just call upon Metatron okay to help you out if you picked the Mm. Option B, the option B, the card that the cards that came out for you were the strength card, number eight, and the th the three of cups. How can I read this? To me, it's like self control, self discipline, but it also speaks of for forgiveness and compassion. Uh, I would say that there's some sort of forgiveness for you who picked uh, Scorpio, who picked option B. You, because it's eight, you know, eight is associated with Scorpio. I'm going to read this more as signifying you. And you might have something in Leo because, you know, it's the Leo. This this card is associated also with the, the sun sign Leo. You might have something in, you might have something in Scorpio and you might have something in Leo, which is my case. I have Scorpio rising in my Leo, in, in the Leo sun. Um, Either you forgive someone, you are compassionate towards someone, and that will help you heal a personal relationship. This personal relationship might be a friendship relationship or an intimate and sentimental, an intimate relationship, a love relationship. There's some sort of forgiveness that will help heal a relationship. Now, this forgiveness can come from you or it can, or it can come from the other person. Someone made a mistake and there's forgiveness. So the other person understands that you made a, free, a mistake, decides to forgive you, and this will help you heal the relationship. 
in the middle of the month, Scorpio, you have the Hermit card, number 9, and the King of Swords. So the King of Swords, which is the card that comes after the Hermit, speaks of someone or represents, symbolizes someone from an air sign, Libra. It's again the same thing. It's the same thing. It's exactly below this card, the King of Swords. It's not the same thing, okay? Don't freak out. This card, the King of Swords, is exactly below the Knight of Swords. There's, there's some sort of talk with an air sign in the middle of the month for both of you, for those who picked option A and picked option B. So, uh, represent someone um, in his... I'm going to read this as a guy. I'm not going to read this as a woman. It could be a woman, it, but to me, because it appeared as a king, it's a guy. Uh, a man in his late 30s or after the age of 40, if he is younger, is someone who is extremely mature and extremely smart, but not smart without... Um, smart with wisdom. You understand? This guy the, in the option A could be smart, but he he, he has no wisdom. You know, could be smart, but he, he doesn't care about other people's feelings. You know, could be smart without a heart, but this guy has wisdom. And uh, in is a. Uh, he knows how to strategize, he knows how to plan things out, he has like a, a bigger picture um, of everything. So he's, he's, he's very mature and he's very wise and he's very smart. It could be, you know, it could be a lawyer. Um, because it's swords, it could even be like a doctor because the swords cut. Uh, but he's very smart and, and he's like a leader in whatever field he's in, in terms of job and vocation. You might be dealing with a person like this in the middle of the month, from the the 11th to the 20th of 20th of March, 2016, and this person might be helping you out in terms of what um, route to take, route or, or, or what is your path. Maybe you have no idea what path you should be on. You know, so what, it, what are your values, your guiding light? What is it? And you don't really know and you like asking for advice for this person, from this person. This person is helping you out to find your own paths, to find your own, you know, inner wisdom, to go within yourself, to try to understand what makes sense to you in terms of values. Or... This could be you, this could represent you, Scorpio. You could have something in an air sign. And you are doing this, you know. In the, in the beginning of the month, uh, in March, there was, you know, something nice, like a, a good encountering with friends uh, or, or with your uh, significant other. And then in the middle of the month, you're considering considering what is your true path, what is... Uh, and you know you're thinking about that you might have something in uh, in air you might be a Scorpio Sun and you can have like a Libra moon or you can have like a Gemini rising something uh, so this could represent you so you're trying to figure it out in a very detailed in logical in intellectual manner but wise manner also what is your own guiding light what are your values this is the middle of the month it could be also mean that you want to spend time with yourself uh, and you know being alone being in solitude being in solitude but not not feeling lonely at all um, in the end of the month you uh, have the Four of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. Money! <laughs> the end of the month, so the Four of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. It might mean like a job offering that will make you feel secure in terms of, you know, your material life. That will make you feel more grounded in terms like you f you're feeling grounded because, because of this job offering. 
if okay I have money to pay the rent or I have money to pay the mortgage and I have all my needs met in that way so you're feeling secure because of new money a new uh, money offering comes your way and this uh, helps you feel secure outside and also inside some somehow um, so in terms of security materi material security uh, it's very good at the end of the month and what is the card that came out for you the angel card that came out for you it was Mahasya Mahasya number 12 can you see him he has like a I don't know what to call this a stick <laughs> he's holding something and at the end of it there's a symbol and that symbol is the Sun symbol and behind him there's like books so this is a, a very very well-read angel Mahasya number 12 and what does the book say about Mahasya happiness in harmony happiness in harmony which speaks of the first 10 days of the month Scorpio you know the strength and then particularly the three of cups harmony happiness in harmony the challenge is letting go of sorrow again speaks of the strength card because you made the decision to of forgiveness to forgive someone or someone decided to forgive you and the lesson is happiness is something that requires recognition sometimes you have to recognize that you have everything in your life to make you happy you have like a roof over your head you have all your needs met okay and that sometimes is sufficient to understand that you are truly happy so Mahasya another of the 72 letter um, angels Mahasya it's a really weird name uh, encourages you to find what is most harmonious to you when this card comes up in reading you must turn to what delights you most and look after your own interests above others for this time the card also advises that you should stay close to what you know and not try anything new so this offering of a job might be might have to do a job or anything not not could be a new job could be something that you do on the side could be something that you already know and you're really safe you feel safe in within this particularly particularly part of your you know uh, professional life let's say you work uh, you're very good in Photoshop and you're feeling feeling really secure in oops in your skills uh, regarding Photoshop so it's something that you are really comfortable with so don't try anything new he also tells you that uh, look after your own interests um, yeah I know I mean happiness and harmony uh, in, in this part of the reading I would say that looking out out about your own in interests would, might be related more towards the middle of the month the hermit and the king of swords so you free figuring it free figuring out what is the most important thing to you what are the values that guide you so in that way one can read it in that way uh, and that's it Scorpio, that's the reading that I have for you. I hope you have a great month. Bye-bye.